In this lecture, using the definition of linear mapping, we consider tensor product of algebras. I will start this lecture from the definition of polylinear map. Let D be the commutative associative ring. Let A1, AN be the algebras and S be the model. We call map F of the algebras A D A N into the model S polylinear map if the map F is linear with respect to each argument. Let us denote L A1 A N as set of polylinear maps of the algebras A1 A N into the model S. Let us denote L a in power n s set of n linear maps of the algebra a into the model s in this case for any i from 1 to n a i equal a we consider property of polylinear map in separate lecture in this lecture we consider definition of tensor product of three algebras I give definition of tensor product of the algebras following to the definition in algebra by Serge Link, pages from 601 to 603. Let A1, AN be three algebras over commutative ring D. Consider category A, whose objects are polylinear maps F and J of algebras A1, AN into the models S1 and S2. We define morphism from the map F into the map J to be linear map from the model S1 into the model S2, making following diagram commutative. Universal object of category A is called tensor product of algebras A1, AN. Tensor product of algebras a1, an, where a1 equal an equal a is called tensor power of algebra A. Our next task is to prove existence of tensor product of algebras. Let M be model over ring D generated by product of the algebras A1, an. Injection of product of the algebras A1, AN into the model M is defined according to rule 24. So, vectors of the model M are linear compositions of vectors defined by rule 24. Let N be submodule of the model M generated by vector like 25 where D and C belongs to AE and A belongs to D. Let J be canonical map of the model M on factor model of the model M by the model N. Using commutative diagram 26, we define map F from product of the algebras A1, AN into factor model of the model M by the model N. From commutativity of the diagram 26 and from equation 24, it follows that image of the set A1, AN under the map F equal to the image of vector A1, AN under the map J. Since vectors 25 belong to kernel of linear map J, then image of vectors 25 under the map J is zero vector. Since the map J is linear map, then equations 29 follow from equations 28. Equation 30 follows from equations 27 and 29. From equations 30, it follows that map F is polylinear since 
M is the model with basis of product of the algebras A1, AN, then for any D model V and any polylinear map G from product of the algebras A1, AN into the model V, there exists a unique homomorphism K from the model M into the model V for which diagram 31 is commutative. I will remind that N is a model of the model M generated by elements like 25. Since map J is polylinear map, then kernel of map K is subset of the model N. The map J is universal in the category of homomorphism of the model M whose kernel contains the model N. Therefore, we have homomorphism H of factor model of the model M by the model N into the model V, which makes diagram 32 commutative. We join diagrams 26, 31, 32 and get commutative diagram 33. Since image of map F generates factor model of the model M by the model N, then map H is uniquely determined. We finish proof of the theorem to 20. According to proof of this theorem, factor model of the model M by the model N is tensor product of the algebras A1, AN. Now we return to diagram 26 and consider map J of the model M into tensor product of the algebras A1, AN. For any Z A1, AN of the algebras AI, image of element A1, AN under the map J is tensor A1, AN. From equations 27, 34, it follows that image of tuple A1, AN under the map F is tensor A1, AN. Equations 36, 37 follow from equations 30, 35. Based on the definition of tensor product and existence theorem, we can state following theorem. Let A1, AN be algebras over commutative ring D. Let map F be polylinear map from product of the algebras A1, AN into tensor product of the algebras A1, AN. Let map F be defined by equation 38. Let J be polylinear map of product the algebras A1, AN into the model V. There exists a linear map H of tensor product of the algebras A1, AN into the model V such that diagram 59 is commutative. The map H is defined by the equation 40. I will remind that in order to define tensor product of the algebras A1, AN, we consider category of polylinear maps of the algebras A1, AN into the model S. For polylinear maps F into the model S1 and J into the model S2, Morphism of category is map H of the model S1 into the model S2 such that diagram 1 is commutative. The model S1 is tensor product of the algebras A1, AN if map H is defined uniquely for any linear map G. An existence of the map H follows from the constructions made in the proof of the existence theorem.
Diagram 59 follows from the diagram 53 and diagram 2. The equation 40 follows from commutativity of diagram 59 and from the equation 35. I will remind that the model A is T algebra if we define it in the model A product 9 as bilinear map. Therefore, from the definition 2.1 and the theorem 2.21, it follows that if A is algebra or commutative ring D, then there exists a linear map H which maps tensor product A and B into product AB in the algebra A. In this lecture, we design tensor product of algebras or commutative ring D. According to the definition, tensor product of algebras is modal over ring D. In next lecture, we will see that we can define structure of algebra in this model.